What's up again, YouTube? It's your boy Lucius Black doing this thing once again. Um, today I want to read y'all something. It's really just a story. It's in the context of an album, but it's a story. I want you to listen to it. It basically it's gonna read like a play. It has two characters in it. One is a girl named Danica, and the other is a guy named Douglas. They're cousins, but once the story goes along, it's it's a it's a different kind of story. Cause I like to push the envelope. So here we go. It goes something like this. You sit back and think of everything behind you and everything ahead of you. You try to keep your heart from breaking. It doesn't work, but there's no harm in pretending, right? No, pretending it never hurts. All that you know is based on pretty lies. All that you believe is a beautiful lie. And all that you are is an ultimate lie. But you grin and bear it, not wanting to be the one hit thread that the one hit thread that destroys the web, the gossamer tangle of smoke and mirrors. And while you contemplate the passage of time and lies, and as you wipe away the unbidden tears of lives, long past and fond and remembered, you wait for on the brilliant epiphany, the, the salve to your burning soul. Dousing the emotional meltdown that approaches on the, wing, the winged seraphim of self-destruction. But that fabled moment of clarity, that pause for lucidity, only makes you stop and see all the sadness of the world. All the anger in your heart and bile in your throat. And every lie gets a little uglier. Every pain stings a little more. And every day means a little less. <clears throat> she had hoped the shower would help her stop thinking about Lucian so much, but as of yet, the hot water offered no com such comfort. After washing away something other than her sadness off her soft skin, she drives herself off and lies on the bed wrapped in a towel. Her apartment creaks slightly, but in her comfort, she politely ignores it. After a while, she dresses herself in a tank top and a pair of jeans. In a, in a nearby mirror, she glances herself and revolves on the spot, placing her curves in sharp relief. Stopping to view herself from a side view, she sighs slightly. Danica says to herself, I'm pretty. I need to stop thinking about Lucian so much. Get over it, girl. A man on the outside says, you are, you're not pretty. You're absolutely gorgeous. The voice behind her startles her, and once again she recognizes that creepy chill running down her spine. She turns and sees Douglas standing there with an odd expression covering his usually expressionless face. Getting over her shock, she looks at Douglas with a raised eyebrow. Hey, Douglas, what the hell are you doing in my apartment? The door was unlocked, and I just thought I'd come and see if you were all right. Thank you. I overheard you talking. You need not worry yourself over Nadra and Lucian. You're stunning. Puts her arm over her shoulder. She cringes, smiles slightly. Thank you, Doug. She turns and walks towards the door. It's always been you, Danica Aurora Riley. She turns and looks at him. Huh? Since I was little, I never found any girls interesting. Never really dated. I figured something was wrong with me until I figured out who I was in love with. I'm not sure what that has to do with me. I, I remember always thinking you were pretty, watching you develop. I even remember once I caught a glimpse of your body as I, you got ready for the prom. Your door was slightly cracked and I lingered, so smooth, so tight. You light my soul on fire like no other woman down here. That is why I love you. What? He walks forward in that same creepy manner, only this time there is some. there seems to be an urgency in the manner of creepiness. She backs away and he increases his steps until he puts hands on her and squeezing tightly. His grip alarms her into speech. Let me go. What the hell you want? You, my love. You. He touches. His lips touch hers and she pulls away. Disgusted at his advances, somehow a hand frees itself and catches his jaw with thunderous right. It staggers him as he, she tries to run. He, as he falls, he catches her ankle and she falls as well. The struggle seems an arousal for him as she smi he smiles weirdly, dragging her back into the room. Getting on top of her, her, her getting on top of her, the knees persist, the kisses persist, but with her arms pinned, all she can do is turn her head to prevent it. At this point, she can feel an erection against her body and is disgusted that much more. She tries to kick him, but it, kick him in it, but his, her legs as well as her legs as well as most of were held down by his weight. At this particular point, Danica silently hoped for a savior. 
it is most unfortunate who stood up to fit that role. Once again, this has been Lucius Black. Yeah, comment as you see fit and do what you got to do. Peace.